Yo, check it out, man. There are two great illusions. Those two great illusions are God and country. So when I'm talking to you about an illusion, I'm talking about a false concept or belief. Something that imprisons you. Something that comes across as real, but in actuality, it's not. The reason why I say God is one of those illusions is because anytime we think of God as an essence or a being outside of us, God has become something other. You shall have no other God beside you. You are in essence, it is God in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. God has inhabits eternity and eternity has been placed in your heart. The reality of what you are, you are God clothed in the flesh or the word that has become flesh, animating, manifesting the flesh. God became man so that man could become God or realize that he was God. This is the entire uh, gospel, man, and it's fucking lit. It is incredible. But to think of God as something outside of you is illusionary. It's not real. If God was outside of you, you would immediately fail to exist. As a matter of fact, that's why the Bible says that God is all and in all. God is not only in you, but he's in everyone and everything that you see, dude. Like God is everywhere and in everything, filling everything with himself. This creative substance is everywhere you look. The second... Uh, the second illusion I'm talking about is country. A country is simply lines drawn in the sand. And so the land, for instance, here in America is beautiful. It's amazing. But when we think of ourselves as Americans, or we think to ourselves that we're belonging to a country, we've allowed someone to use the illusion of a country to get our allegiance. And now we're giving our allegiance to this idea of country. It'd be like you giving your allegiance to the idea of um, Life Artistry Institute. Life Artistry Institute isn't something as much as it is. It is just a name that is something that I have manifested, something that I teach in. However, America, it would... So America, in the same way, Life Artistry Institute would become an illusion to the degree... It could become a manipulative thing if I were to convince you that you must uh, pledge your allegiance to LAI. Now it's become an issue. Now it's become a stumbling block. Now it's become more than just a concept, but it's become very real. This is the reason why people will get so irate when I talk about not pledging allegiance to America and not voting. I think America, the land, is beautiful. America, the idea, the concept, the country, ha has been founded on, and some of you aren't going to like this, but I just don't care, has been founded upon the blood of innocent people. It's been founded upon genocide. The, for the forefathers, supposedly Christian, came in and wiped out Native American people. Like, you don't understand. Like, we... We have done very little good in the world. We have gone and killed millions and millions of people in the name of oil, in the name of money, in the name of power, in the name of greed. And here in America, we call that good. We're like, yes, we are the righteous ones. But don't you know, every country, almost every country thinks of themselves in those terms. And so country becomes uh, quite the illusion if we're not careful. This is the reason why Jesus said, Beware the leaven of religion and of politics or of Herod and of the Pharisees. And so understand, when I speak here of God and country as illusionary, I'm speaking of them in their infant form as ideas. For everything first is an idea before it ever manifests. America is no more uh, a reality than, a, uh, than LAI, than Life Artistry Institute. And... Um, 
it's neither good nor evil. Life Artistry Institute is neither good nor evil. You can take the things that I teach at LAI and you can use them to do good and to love others and to manifest wealth to give to others and to share with the world. Or you could take it to manifest wealth so that you can have power. And so good and evil is in your hands. You can take the, inf the information that LAI, LAI itself is neither good nor evil. Neither is America. Neither is your power to vote. Neither is this idea of God's neither good nor evil. And everyone has this different idea and no one is fucking right, dude. No one's right. And so just remember that, that the country has conditioned our minds to think that we are in power. Now, I, again, I just want to clarify, I'm not opposed to America or any other country. Uh, I just, I just don't like the fact that the idea of America has become a reality. It's not real. It's just an idea. It's just a concept. And we've actually put up dividing lines. Now we're talking about building walls to keep others out as if this is our land. And the government can come take your land at any point they want. They can tell you to stay in the house. They can tell you you can't go out. They can take your kids away at any point. I've seen it all. I've been doing this thing and teaching and sharing and, and, and loving others and pastoring and doing that sort of thing for more than 20 years. 20, more than 20 years. And I've seen it all, dude. And I'm telling you, that if you think, if you're an American, you think you live in a free country, free in comparison to some, but what real freedom is, is within. And so the freedoms or lack thereof here in America don't bother in me because my freedom's here and you can't take that freedom. You cannot take that freedom. When you think of God, I need you to understand that God is no more real than the boogeyman who scares little children in their sleep. Like they both feel very real at moments. The boogeyman feels really real when you're a kid and you're afraid to go to sleep. You really think he's in your closet or under your bed. And God feels really real in those moments of worship or in those moments of, of fear, in those moments when you're really crying out for help. God feels really real, this God that's outside of you. But he's no more real than that. Only God in you, Christ in you, is, is, is the reality. There is no God other than this. God is within this is where your creative power is found, this Christ in you, the hope of glory. And um, <laughs> this, is what really, this is what really matters. And so I'm not sharing this with you to poke at your beliefs, to stir up shit. I'm not doing that. Um, well, maybe a little. No, I'm really sharing this because I don't care what you believe about God or country so much as I do about awakening love awakening this Christ life in you it's this that's it's it's Christ rising in your heart it's the spirit of the essence of love rising in your heart because love is what covers a multitude of sins love covers all of the genocide done by America it is love that covers that and so right now I need you to understand we don't need Trump we don't need Biden we don't need politics we don't need religion what we need, we don't need Black Lives Matter. We don't need any of that. What we need is love, just true, authentic love for one another. We're loving our neighbor as ourselves. I'm talking about when you love your neighbor in the same way that you're loving yourself. When you see someone in need, that you see them as if it is yourself that's in need. That's oneness, and that's the kind of love that we need in this moment. That's the kind of love that casts out all fear. So I just want to encourage you to be careful to not allow the illusion of God or of country to divide us. But let's remain in the state of love consciousness. Because we, despite what we believe about God, about country, about... We're one. We are one people. There's no American and Chinese. There's no black and white. There's just one. We are one in God, one in Christ. And I love you. And I want you to have an absolutely beautiful day. If you have questions or comments, drop them below. If you haven't already subscribed, I encourage you to be sure to subscribe right now, man. And uh, and come journey with me. We're doing videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I've had to pull, pull, pull back a little bit. I was doing daily videos, but it's just been a lot. So I pulled back a little bit. Every three videos a week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I just want to come at you with encouragement and some revelation. Also, if you haven't checked out LAI, Life Artistry Institute, I encourage you to check out the link below. I hope you have an amazing day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.